Hey, super excited to have you guys back with one more round with me and Natalie. Hello. And we're excited because we have another guest all over the way in Atlanta, Georgia, Meredith Pruden. How are you, Meredith? I'm good, thank you. Hey, guys. Hi. Now, I know you pretty well. You are the editor of both of my books, Inside Job and Plot Twist. And um, for those of you who don't know Meredith, Meredith, tell us a little bit about you and what you do. Um, sure. Well, I've been a freelance writer for almost 18 years full time. I also do marketing, consulting, editing. Um, I own a, a small agency here in Atlanta called Meritocracy Creative. We are a creative services co op. Nice. Bit of a mouthful. I, I, uh, I hope you're <laughs> deliberating of whether I could even say it, but <laughs> so uh, that's a relief. Yes, I think so. Um, what I want to do is uh, I want to ask you a couple of questions and I guess, you know, just think on your feet here. There's no right or wrong. It's just so that people can really connect with you, you know, Okay. you've said in other interviews, you know, people, knew who, who the face was behind you know apple it was steve jobs they know with virgin it's richard branson but people don't know you know the director of sony you know or you know some of the other brands it's always really important to be able to connect you know people with an audience so describe yes. yourself in one word um creative mm, that's good mm -hmm. Okay. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? Extrovert, definitely. Extrovert, definitely. Definitely confident <laughs> on that. I think I know the answer to this one. A morning person or a night owl? <laughs> <laughs> um, a reluctant morning person. <laughs> <laughs> Did you feel like you're more productive in the morning? Um, these days, yes. When I was younger, like going through college, undergrad, I was definitely a night owl. But that's changed um, through my life. So. Nice. Right. You being an editor, this will be an interesting, um, I guess, answer. Are you an audio books girl or a paperback? Paperback. Oh, I, I, I've, I'm going to call myself out here. I have never once in my life listened to an audio book. Yeah. I listen to podcasts, um, but never an audio book. <laughs> and I don't read on digital either. I can't read a book on my iPad or anything like that. Yeah, no, I can't do that. Mm. I'm with you. I like the textile feel of, of paper in my hands. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> what is your favorite social media platform? Um, Instagram, I think. Is there any particular reason why Instagram for you? Um, I like the visual aspect of it um, and the storytelling through visual culture. Um, academically, visual culture is an interest of mine, so I find Instagram pretty fascinating. Mm. I was going to ask you, what's one thing about you that most people don't know? Um, I'm going back to get my PhD starting next week. I guess that's new, that's new news. Yeah, yeah. And what's the PhD in? Uh, communication, media, and society. Very good. And, and where do you see that taking you? Um, looking forward to hopefully getting a faculty position at a university so that I can um, indulge my loves, which are travel, academics, and writing. <laughs> cool. Well, now we're going to yeah. go a bit deeper and uh, Natalie's going to uh, take over. Okay, Meredith, so I'm going to ask you a few questions um, okay. and basically just open, uh, just be open and, you know, share what you feel you want to share. So when you hear the uh, words one more round, what, what does that mean to you? Um, I would say picking yourself up when times get tough. Um, never giving up. There's always just one more round. I mean, you could look at it that way, right? You know, you never know that what one more round might bring you. Um, when you, I can't remember who said it, but it talks about, uh, it's, it's Steve Jobs or Richard Branson or one of, one of those kind of famous entrepreneurial guys that basically said, you know, you, you never know when you give up, um, you might be right there. And I'm not, I'm not as eloquent as they are, but, um, yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, lovely. Okay, so can you give us one specific example where 
um, you have gone that one more round? Oh gosh. Um, my life is full of one more rounds. <laughs> I, um, was a single mother for most of my life. So, you know, anybody who's a parent, first of all, knows that that's always one more round. And, um, certainly, um, as a single parent, that's true. Um, uh, professionally, you know, um, dealing with a multitude of clients all the time, trying to keep everybody happy and a ton of balls in the air. Um, pardon the cliche, but, um, it's true. It's, it's always, it always feels like one more round. Yeah. Um, you know, I think along with that though, sometimes you have to be able to recognize when, um, when things are worth going one more round and when it's time to throw in the towel, um, as it were, I think that's a learned skill, uh, that takes time and but it's, it's important because you don't want to expend, you know, valuable energy on things that are never going to go your way. Uh, and there are those things out there. Yeah. Absolutely. I totally agree. And I think it's appreciating, like you say, those times when you do just need to walk away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When it's zapping your love for life, when it's zapping your love for your work, when it's, um, and not, and I don't mean just for the moment, we all have those moments when we are like, oh, I can't do, I can't do this one more, one more minute, but you know, 30 minutes later, we're reinvigorated for it. Um, or the next day we're reinvigorated for it. I mean, the things that just constantly zap your yeah. energy and suck your soul those things that you just not don't should excuse me you shouldn't make room for those things in your life any longer no, absolutely i totally agree so when things have been difficult and you you've perhaps made a bad decision or a bad call how how do you bounce back from that well i find you know if it's a bad decision on my part um I tend to live by the rule that um, I'm going to acknowledge it and um, apologize for it if necessary and, and try and just move forward. Um, I think part of my success in life, um, things have not always been easy. They, for, they aren't for anybody. I mean, um, it's all relative, right? So, um, but I have a really strong support system in my family and my friends um, and even my, co my colleagues that I've chosen to surround myself with in my company um, and just professionally. Um, you know, and that, that makes all the difference in the world too. You know, no, no man is an island, as they say. So, um, no woman is an island either, and I definitely need to fall back on my support system sometimes. Yeah. Great. Okay. And, um, tell, obviously you shared your PhD news with us all. Yeah. Um, but is there anything yeah. you can share with the audience that we, we don't know about you? About me? Yeah. Um, well, I'm a super word nerd. Uh, I think most people who know me know that. Uh, Mark definitely does. Um, I am a landlocked surfer and scuba diver here in Atlanta, which can be tough sometimes. Um, I was a bit of a rebel when I was young. Um, not may maybe more than just a bit, and that has um, and that has carried over in many ways to my adult life. Um, um, I still don't love coloring within the lines, so I like to try new things. And um, you know, obviously, I'm a lot calmer of a person than, now than I was <laughs> as a teenager. But um, yeah, I think that's... do you find that um, motherhood calmed you? Oh, definitely. <laughs> yeah, motherhood definitely calmed me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. yeah, I totally agree. Um, and last and final question from me. Who do you know that we should know that we should maybe get on to one more round? Oh, um, okay. So one of my colleagues who's been an editor of mine for years at a magazine, uh, Mark McGuire, he is absolutely amazing person, amazing father, and a really talented writer and editor. And he's just released his second book, um, the name of which I can't remember right now. The first one is Alexandria Rising, I believe. And the second, I cannot remember the name of it. But you should definitely look him up. They're both on Amazon. Um, it's Mark McGuire, like the baseball player uh, <laughs> here in the States. Fabulous. We shall do just that, won't we? Yeah, definitely. Great. Have you, have you got anything like, because I know that you love words, you're constantly creating content. Mm -hmm. Have you got like one thought or concept kind of that you feel would really serve 
the audience right now, especially in the in the times that we're in currently? Um. Well, I mean, I think related to the times we're in currently, um, common sense goes a long way. Media literacy goes a long way. Um, you know, remembering that the content that you read and view is advertising driven by and large. Um, and there's, that doesn't mean that there's always an ulterior motive though, uh, which kind of infuriates me when people get onto the liberal media and this and that, and I use that term very loosely. Um, I think that it's important to understand too that, you know, most of our, almost all of our media outlets are owned by six or seven huge conglomerates. So, and that number is, is growing. Um, there is dwindling actually. There's a big merger getting ready to happen. It looks like it's going to take over a lot of the local news stations here in Atlanta. I mean, not in Atlanta, in the United States. Um, and that's really problematic. So I think getting your news from various sources, um, taking the time to, to, disconnect from all of that and read and view things that are just enjoyable to you. Um, for example, for me, I'm, I'm currently reading Mary Carr's book um, for writers. And um, I love Sunday night kind of winding down my week with a little bit of Game of Thrones. <laughs> um, you know, I can't always be working and getting mad about what's going on in the world. Um, you know, it, that's just not productive. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. Meredith, how do people find out more about you? How do they connect? Um, well, I have a website for my writing at meredithpruden.com. Um, my company site is mare-creative.com. Um, I'm still tweaking that out a little bit. Uh, we just moved servers, so bear with me. Um, you can find me on LinkedIn. I'm on Twitter at both mare13 and mayor underscore creative and I'm on Instagram. I think that's mayor 13. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Yeah. Cool. Well, it's been great to have you on the show and uh, you soon. Bye. Thank you. Bye.